Hi, Scorpio. It's me. It's Julia with Scorpio Squad. How's my gang gang doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Sending you much love and many blessings as usual. Thank you so much for all your love, your support, your subscribes, your likes. You guys are amazing. For those of you that are new, this is the Scorpio channel. Cross watchers, you're welcome here. You may want to subscribe and turn your notification bell to all because I do do videos for Scorpio seven days a week. Um, if you are looking for a live tarot card reading, I do have my own private psychics and tarot card readers for all of the month of May, as many times as you need to call up. Every time you call up, you just say, ready to receive my blessings, and you'll get your reading discounted, okay? There are toll-free numbers for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Scorpio, if you're looking for really cute tees and, and uh, t-shirts and tank tops, check out the Scorpio Squad merchandise link. And if you want a personal love reading with me, you can book it through my website and pay for it there. You go to products and then tarot card readings. All those readings are discounted as well. All right, Scorpio. I call upon my... I love you. <laughs> I call upon my angels. I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Here you are, Scorpio. Looks like you had a decision to make, and you're making that decision. The moon is here. Something happened or is happening during this lunar eclipse. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio, when it comes to love. For Scorpio, when it comes to love, what do we have? Okay. For Scorpio, when it comes to love, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, thank you. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Page of Swords and your hopes and fears. Give me one card, please, for the outcome. One card for the outcome in love for Scorpio, please. One card for the outcome in love, please. Why are you feeling sad? One card, please, for the outcome. you are Scorpio again you have a soulmate connection with somebody a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn who you're supposed to come with come together with all right let's see what's going on signs I'm seeing here are Cancer Scorpio Pisces Libra Gemini Aquarius Virgo Taurus and Capricorn Leo Sagittarius and Aries all right so there's a decision you have to make in the recent past, we have the hangman. Why is the hangman here for Scorpio? Capricorn energy. Why is the hangman here for Scorpio in the recent past? Something may have, in the past, kept you stuck. Something that was toxic, maybe a toxic behavior or a toxic way of being. And I feel that um, or you, maybe you were toxic towards a Virgo here. Or you may have been stuck because you were stuck on a toxic Virgo. Somebody who was a player, somebody who may have taken from you, I don't know.
There may have been a message sent or something like this. You may have sent a message to this person to just end things. This was how you got your justice, Scorpio, with this person in the recent past. Now, it doesn't have to be that sign, right? But I feel you were stuck for a while. I'm going to re-say it. I think you were stuck for a while because you were involved with somebody toxic. Okay? You saw clearly that somebody was a player here. Um, and you may have sent a message to this person that, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing any more of this. And that's how you kind of brought justice to the situation in the recent past. Right now you have the moon. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here in the now for Scorpio? Why is the moon here for Scorpio? Something is hidden um, from you right now, and you're trying to get clarity. Could be about a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Where things have been moving kind of slow. Um, I feel like it's a divinely guided connection here. This is your soulmate. And I feel here that um, you're going to move forward. Because I feel, Scorpio, um, when it comes to love, you're feeling kind of left out in the cold or alone, should I say. Somebody has piqued your interest and you want to go towards this person quickly, actually. Now, you may have known this person from before, but it just wasn't the right timing. Now is the right time. Here you are, Scorpio. Again, you see something toxic was keeping you stuck. Could have been this Aquarius that uh, you keep waiting to see if they're going to return and actually give to this connection. You are showing up as, you know, the Empress here. The Four of Wands. I feel with this person's silence, uh, Scorpio, you don't know what to do or they don't know what to do. Nobody's talking. The Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? This is what's hidden from you. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Four of Wands is clarified by the Two of Wands. The Three of Wands the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. So, there is a soulmate tie here, and a new path is opening up for you, and this person lives at a distance. And this person is incredibly stable, Scorpio. This is also somebody who can bring you a lot of healing. Why is the Four of Wands here? The Queen of Cups. It's your match. Look at that. This is somebody who loves unconditionally. Who has a big heart. But also knows how to set healthy boundaries. Okay? I see you finding your happily ever after with this person. I feel it's destined... For the two of you to be together. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or maybe Scorpio, you have Earth in your chart. But there's a brand new beginning here. There's abundance, stability. I feel you are going to fight for this connection here. Here you are, Scorpio. And here they are again. Things will be fair. I feel here this person is in the spotlight. You could be in the spotlight. Both of you could be in the spotlight. Here.
somebody is also worried here that um, or both of you could be worried that somebody or something toxic could return again to get in the way of this relationship why is the eight of wands here why is the eight of wands here the star So there is communication with this person in the spotlight. There is a reconciliation. There's victory here. The moon is here. Why is the moon here? The moon. Why is the moon here? Because there could be competition here. This is somebody who you already know. Okay. The decision has been made. Somebody wants to go towards their stability. That could be you, Scorpio, or that could be your person. That's what you've been waiting for. The tower is here. Scorpio energy could be dealing with another Scorpio. Um, you know, I feel both parties are trying to get a hold of their emotions before they, they speak up about how they truly feel. But I do see love being offered here. There's forward movement. There's a very good manifester here too. Okay? It's all about being patient, divine timing, taking things slow here. Wow. We've got the page of pentacles, the seven of swords, the nine of cups, the hierophant, the sun, the world. Somebody may sneak off to come be with somebody here. That could be you, Scorpio. You could sneak off. You may be in the public eye. You may sneak off to go see this person. The chariot. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you want to rush in, but you're taking things nice and slow. You're ending a lot of things in your life too, like pain, burdens. You're listening to your intuition about having this brand new start with this Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Here you are, Scorpio. Look at that. It's a wish fulfillment for the two of you. Spirit has set this up for the two of you to be together. For your person, the Five of Swords. Let me just get comfortable one second. The Five of Swords for your person. Why is it here? The Seven of Swords. The Knight of Cups and um, justice the eight of stars now
So you could be dealing with somebody who comes in and out of your life. You could also be dealing with somebody who's sneaky, who love bombs, right? This person could be an attorney and is looking for work. They're all up in their head about having this new beginning, uh, Scorpio. There's also a lot of secrets here. They secretly do want a new beginning with you. You just may not know it yet. having a brand new beginning here with the Virgo or you're seeing clearly about having a victory with this Queen of Wands Leo Sagittarius Aries I do see the two of you coming together here just have to be careful I feel you have a choice between two the page of swords why is the page of swords here you're spying on somebody. Why is the Page of Swords here? The Three of Cups. Yeah, you're spying. You want to come together with somebody. You want to fight for this connection. It's your Queen of Cups. You want to offer love. You want to have a new beginning. Or this Queen of Cups is offering love to you to have this new beginning. Wow, the Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. With this new beginning, we see that there's been disappointment. Maybe the two of you tried to come together before in the past. didn't work out. I see somebody coming in with their pentacle. It is wish fulfillment here. There is healing here for the two of you, Scorpio, if you want it. And a new beginning. But I feel... You're not going to allow um, yeah. You could very well be dealing with an air sign as well here. This air sign here wants to fight for you. They're feeling a loss. They don't sleep good at night. They want to come towards you. But you got to be careful of this energy, Scorpio. I feel the newer person is better suited for you. The Eight of Cups, walking away. What is my Scorpios walking away from? What are you walking away from? like you're leaving your past behind to come together with the Queen of Pentacles to collaborate with them. Yes. There's a lot of love here. Some of you will be leaving your job and going towards this Queen of Pentacles for love. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Wands. That's what you're doing. You're leaving your job, your current job, and coming towards this Queen of Pentacles here. Card down. You may be changing things up. This is your soulmate, Scorpio. You're all up in your head whether or not you should reach out to this person, apologize, offer your love. All I know is that you feel like you missed an opportunity with them. Because you were too toxic when you were talking to them. This person is at a distance from you. I feel they're very uh, busy working on the projects, maybe learning something new here. Scorpio. I see justice here. And I see you moving into this connection very slowly.
Give me one minute. You will have a victory if you pick this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You will have your wishes fulfilled. There will be a victory, but you have to pick the King of Pentacles. It's all about divine timing here. And you're going to end up being very passionate about this person. You're going to want to move things very forward, but fast, quickly. Okay? Four of Pentacles is here with the Ten of Pentacles. There could be competition here, Scorpio, and you know it. That's why you are moving this quick. Okay? And you're manifesting the heck out of this. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll take a look again at it tomorrow. But it looks good. You need to pick the right one. That's what it is. All right? Love and kisses. I love you. Bye.